Hey friends, got a wild one for you today. So the Schumann Resonance is off the freaking charts. Can you feel it? So I don't trust what they tell us about the Schumann Resonance. I just don't. And I'm going to tell you why. So quickly, the Schumann Resonance is the measurement of the electromagnetic discharge from lightning strikes in the ionosphere. That's what they tell us. Okay, so why do they care? Why are they studying it? They've been studying it for decades. They already have all that data. There's something more to this, friends. I think that the Schumann Resonance is literally our collective 8 billion minds intuitively pre-conceiving something that's going to happen. It's precognition on a global scale. Humans are antennas. We pick up on things intuitively, subconsciously, we pick up on things. There's something called the web bot Cliff High made, and he's been able to predict huge events, you know, just by studying online behavior through these trends and these algorithms, right? It's very fascinating stuff, but he can do it through the internet with this web bot thing. What if our brains put out a signal? They just pick up on things telepathically, intuitively, subconsciously, we just pick up on things, right? Sometimes you just know something's gonna happen, right? That's intuition. So eight billion of us together, it has to be measurable. So what is the Schumann resonance? Again, it's the measurement of the electromagnetic discharge from lightning strikes in the ionosphere. What does that mean? Well, the ionosphere is this little like bubble that goes around Earth. It's, it's kind of the space in between Earth's crust and space. That's the ionosphere, roughly, you know. Um, and there's lightning strikes all day, every day in there. And it puts out this little discharge, right? Electromagnetic discharge. And all of those lightning strikes, trillions a day, add up, and it makes this like heartbeat that goes around the Earth. And it's kind of like the pulse of the Earth. And they can measure it. It's called the Schumann resonance. Now, Lightning strikes are roughly the same every day, all right? Like I understand there's storms, pockets of activity, but collectively, they're roughly the same every day. So there shouldn't be these humongous spikes. So if you don't know what you're looking at up here, these white areas, that's very, very intense. We normally just get little slivers of that. We normally don't get it for days and days like this. That's very intense, okay? Now, a lot of times people will think that we're reacting to the Schumann resonance, that when the Schumann resonance is really crazy like this, that, oh, I can't sleep, and um, I'm a little more anxious, a little more revved up today, you know, because of this. But I have an alternate theory. What if it's the other way around? What if we're not reacting to the Schumann resonance? What if it's reacting to us? What if humans are just 8 billion antennas and that we collectively pick up on things and we can sense it? You know how you can sense things? So this is right when Iran attacked Israel. And right before Iran attacked Israel, the Schumann resonance went off the charts and it stayed off the charts for the next couple of days. Now, why would that be? Well, in real time, people are watching this war. People are on X, literally watching moms take video of rockets flying over their houses in Israel, of, of teenagers crying in Tehran, of people in Syria panicking because they don't know what's coming next. We're watching whether you're indifferent to the war, for it, against it, devastated, excited, it doesn't matter what your emotion is. You're emotional. Everyone has some sort of an emotion about what's going on over there. And I think everyone can feel that something's happening and something's coming, something bigger. And that, that feeling and watching people on X and people all over the internet and people just in real time, watching a war unfold and watching it affect people on a personal human level, it has an effect on you. Now, right before they launched all those rockets and everything towards Israel. Right before that, the Schumann resonance went off the charts. Now, the lightning strikes that day were around the same as the day before. Um, the sun was around the same as the week before. Actually, the week before, the sun was a little more active, so you can't even chalk it up to the sun. There's not really any other verifiable reasons why the Schumann resonance would have gone off the charts the way that it did, right at the same time that Iran attacked Israel. You know, And then for the next couple days after that, when everyone's kind of on the edge of their seats, especially over there. You gotta think, whether you're sitting at home in Ohio right now, worried about it or not, billions of people around the world are worried about this and paying attention to it, or at least emotional about it, right? They have some sort of a, an emotional effect. Well, we know that our hearts and our brains put off an electromagnetic charge, just like lightning. I'm not saying we're Zeus. I'm not saying we're as powerful as a lightning bolt, but our hearts and our brains do have a measurable electro electromagnetic discharge. Now, the Schumann Residence measures all of their sensors, all of their antennas, everything measures the electromagnetic discharge in the ionosphere. Well, we put off an electromagnetic 
discharge. We have an electromagnetic field around our heads and our hearts. It extends out of our body. We know this. That's how they can put those caps on your brain and read all of your brain waves and stuff because it extends out of your body. They don't put them inside your brain. They put them on top of your brain and it can read it. We have this bubble, this aura that goes outside of us. And this is science. This isn't just some crazy guy in the woods, okay? So I know that my electromagnetic field is pretty weak because I'm just one person. But there's 8 billion of us, okay? So anything multiplied by 8 billion is a lot. So collectively, we know that we're intuitive. We know that humans are empathic. We know that humans are antennas. We know that we can pick up on things. We can, we can, we have, you know, precognition. We know when something's coming. We just can feel it, you know? So imagine that multiplied by 8 billion. Is that what the Schumann resonance is picking up? So we're not affected by it. It's affected by us. We are the heartbeat of the world, of the earth. We, the plants, the animals, everything is conscious, everything's connected. And the Schumann resonance is not just measuring lightning, it's measuring that collective reverberation. Why else would the government, NASA, why else would all these agencies care? Why would they study lightning strikes the ionosphere? They've been studying it for decades, since the 60s. Okay, they already have all the data. It doesn't change, <laughs> right? It's because I think the Schumann Resonance is a predictive machine. I think it predicts. I think that it takes our collective precognitive abilities, puts it together, and you can look at that and see when something's gonna happen. You can, you can see it, you know? How we could feel something coming, it can see it. And I think that they know that. I think that that's why it's important. It's not just this, pretty graph showing lightning strikes in space. Who cares? <laughs> that doesn't do anybody any good at all. Why would you spend money studying that for 60 years? It's because this is a precognitive predictive machine based on 8 billion human brains. Huh. Let me know. What do you guys think about that? Have a beautiful day. Peace.